I'm Charles Strong III of Strong Counseling Solutions, LLC. We offer on-site counseling in Gretna, Louisiana, and board-approved online counseling throughout the state of Louisiana. For PLPCs seeking to become licensed, we offer supervision. And for mental health rehabs, we offer services of assessment, psychotherapy, and consulting. Many of us are familiar with the fight or flight response, kicked off in situations of high anxiety where we're flooded with chemicals that increase heart rate, breathing rate, and blood pressure. We often have a clear image on our minds of what that looks like for an adult. But what does it look like for children? When children experience anxiety, it often manifests as crying, clinging, shaking, hiding, or, or acting out. And that's just when the perceived threat is there. After the threat seems to have subsided, it can take up to an hour for the body to come back down from that heightened state. It's not uncommon for adults to punish children showing these behaviors, not realizing that underneath all of it is not defiance, but anxiety. Dr. Erica Leba encourages a number of tools to utilize to help a child who may be experiencing anxiety. Take deep breaths. Since anxiety often forces us into quick, short breaths that originate in the chest, encourage breathing more slowly and deeply from the diaphragm to bring the heart rate a bit lower and bestow calmness. Breathe it in for three seconds. Hold it for three seconds. And exhale for three seconds. Get active. Exercise can center the child. All manner of exercises that include climbing, pushing, and pulling can ease anxiety. So if you're at the gym, if you're at the park, those things should be readily available at home. You can do wall push-ups. Uh, you can push uh, a vacuum. You can brush with a, with a broom, a duster. These things can help calm. Make a plan. Anxiety plans can lead to understanding and acceptance of what may otherwise be confusing or frightening. Speak with children and write down exact things to do when anxiety is felt. Enact rituals. Rituals have been found to stabilize us when we are stressed out. You might notice you might, you might clean around the house or do dishes whenever you're feeling worried. Establish and routinely carry out safe rituals before, during, and or after stressors are experienced. Name it. Psychiatrist Daniel Siegel claims that during fight or flight, children lose touch with their upstairs brain. And then in order to better cope with anxiety, we need to name it to tame it. Ask what is worrisome to the child and why it's troubling. Narrow focus. Meditation or focusing on one particular act activity, feeling, or sight can bring about relaxation. This can be done by engaging in guided imagery, listening to white noise, or coloring. Laugh. Laughter relaxes muscles, distracts us, and releases endorphins, which makes us feel good. Play games, watch a funny show, and be silly. And finally, reflect. After a child succeeds in a difficult situation, process how they were nervous and how they overcame it. Ask how hard it was and what got them through. That's our talk for today. Hope you learned something or found something interesting. You can find more videos like these on Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, or Twitter. We'll be back next week with a new video. So until then, thanks and be well.